A cool trick when creating interactive pop-ups in Adobe InDesign is adding a subtle dark background. This tip will help you add emphasis to the product or information that you're highlighting in a pop-up window. In this video, I'll show you how to create a button that triggers animation to open and close a pop-up window, as well as a dimmed background at the same time. So let's jump right into this video and start creating. Let's begin by going over the layers that we'll be using in this layout. If I open the layers panel up, you can see I have four in total. One is called triggers and I'll explain what that is in just a moment. We have pop-up content, which is this window here. This is a grouped element with an image, a background, some text frames, another button down here, as well as the close button. And this is all grouped. I'm gonna turn that off. Here's the dimmed background. So this is basically just a rectangle frame set to 70% opacity. And I'll turn that off. And then everything else here is just the content in the layout. The triggers layer, if I click to activate that, is a button over this shop online button. So just think of this as an invisible button, which will be a trigger to trigger both the pop-up content as well as the dimmed background. You can see in the same window here, I have two additional panels open, buttons and forms, which we'll need later on, as well as animation. So the first order of business is adding the animation to both the pop-out window here, as well as the dimmed background. So let's click on the pop-out window first, and you can see it's already named product info. The preset here, if you click the preset dropdown, the one we'll choose for this lesson is zoom in 2D. You can see the event is on page load and that's okay, we'll change that later on. But we do wanna speed up the duration. You can see by default, it's set to 1.042 seconds. I'm gonna change that to 0.25 seconds. And then everything else here is just fine. So we'll leave it as is. I'm gonna click on the dimmed background now and let's choose a preset of fade in. Again, on page load is fine for now but I'm really gonna speed this up by setting it to 0.125 seconds. So remember the first one is set to 0.25 and the dimmed background is 0.125. Now remember, because this is on page load, if I click the EPUB preview window, the animation will happen on page load. And we wanna change that by adding button triggers. So what I'll do is go back to my layers panel and just for now, I'm going to hide the dimmed background layer and hide the pop-up content layer as well. And so now we wanna focus on that trigger button. So I'm gonna click on it on the page and you can see it's selected. And then I'm gonna to go to buttons and forms and under the type dropdown, choose button. And I'm gonna name this open window one. In the event on release or tap is fine. Under the actions, we're gonna add two actions to start and they'll both be animation. So go ahead and click the plus icon and then choose animation. And under the animation dropdown, we have two remember, so we'll leave the first one on product info and the option will leave it to play. Go back to the plus icon and then choose another animation action. Under the animation dropdown, we want dimmed background and the option once again will be play. Let's go back to the layers panel and turn on pop-up content. And in this case, we're gonna focus our attention on this close button. Now, because it's grouped with all the other content in this window, you're gonna to have to double click to drive into it. And you can see now I have that close icon selected. Go back to buttons and forms under the type dropdown, convert that object to a button, and let's call this close window one. Under the actions, we're gonna choose animation again. And remember the animation here will be product info. The only thing we're changing here is the option. So instead of play, we want to reverse. So in other words, when we close it, the animation will reverse. Let's do the same thing for the dimmed background. Animation, under the animation dropdown, choose dimmed background. And then under the options dropdown, let's choose reverse. Now we're gonna add one more action to both of these buttons. If I go to my layers panel and turn off pop-up content just for a sec, I'm gonna click on that open button first and go to the buttons and forms panel. Under the actions, let's choose show hide buttons and forms. Remember we have an open window one and close window one. Anything with an X will be ignored 
And in this case, we don't have to show or hide the open window because it's already invisible. So we'll just leave it as is. However, we do wanna show the close button when we click that first trigger button. And alternatively, if I go back to my layers panel and turn on pop-up content, I'm gonna click on this close button again. Let's go back to buttons and forms and add a third action. And in this case, once again, show hide buttons and forms. We'll leave open window one as ignored. However, we will hide the close window one. So when the animation reverses, the close window button will also disappear. If I go back to the layers panel here and turn on the dimmed background again, I'm gonna go back to buttons and forms and then click on the EPUB preview window. You'll notice that the animation is still happening on page load and we'll fix that, but I can close this and open it and you can see that the animations are playing just the way we set them up. So open and close. If I go back, I'm gonna click on the pop-out window and then go to animation and have a look. In the events, it says on page load and on button event. We want to deselect on page load so that we only have the animations play. In other words, we can open the window and close the window on button event. Let's do the same thing for the dimmed background. So go ahead and click that. And you can see the same thing is happening here on page load and on release. So click that and then deselect on page load. Now, this will only occur when we click the button triggers. So I'm gonna click that EPUB preview window again. You can see nothing's happening. So that does not happen on page load, but I can click to open and click to close. So I'm gonna close this and there's one other thing I'd like to do. As of right now, there's a slight delay between the pop-up window and the dimmed background. I'd like for them to play at the same time. In order to do that, let's go back to our layers panel and I'm just going to hide the pop-up content and hide the dim layer. I'm gonna click on the trigger button and then open the timing panel. You can see I have the timing panel and I'll just group it with the others. So with that selected, you can see that I have product info and dimmed background here. You can see the animations here in the timing panel. If I click product info, hold my command, that would be control on windows and click dimmed background. I can choose to play together. See this icon down below, bottom right, click that. And you can see those will now play together. Let's do the same thing for the close. So if I click layers, open the pop-up content, double click the close button to drive into that, go back to the timing panel, and then click product info, hold command or control on windows, click dim the background, and then we want to play those together as well. Go back to layers, turn everything on, and this should now be finished. So if I click EPUB preview window, let's have one last look. Let's click on the shop online button, which triggers the pop-out window and the dimmed background. You can see that those are now playing together and I can close to collapse or reverse the animation. So you can see that's working as intended with the dimmed background, which is a really cool feature when you're setting up a catalog design like this. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tip on creating pop-up windows with dark backgrounds using Adobe InDesign. I encourage you to try it out for yourself in your next interactive project. I have many more videos on interactive design that you could check out in this playlist right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.